Hey everyone, it's Speak Visually here from the Scratch team at MIT, and today I want to show you how to use video sensing blocks. Uh, if you're not familiar with video sensing, it allows someone to interact with their Scratch project using the webcam on their computer. So it's a really cool set of blocks, and I'm excited to show you how to use those today. So we will find the video sensing blocks in the sensing category, so let's go ahead and click that. And the three video sensing uh, specific blocks are right here. So we see one is a variable and it's video motion on this sprite. We see a block that says turn video on and finally set video transparency. So we'll dig into all three of these. How about we start with this middle one here, turn video on. So this is really turning the webcam on, which will enable uh, the ability to have video sensing uh, on your project. So we'll go ahead, I just dragged that out. Let's go ahead and make it an event. So wind green flag click, turn video on. Okay, cool. So the webcam has been turned on and you can see uh, the image in the background is actually the feed from the webcam. Uh, and so this is really important because we'll, we'll use this later on when we use, uh, when we create these sort of interactions in our project. Uh, so you notice there's actually kind of a bit of a white haze over the webcam. Um, and that is actually uh, the backdrop that is being displayed on top of the webcam image. Uh, and that can be manipulated uh, here with the set video transparency. So right now it's at 50%, so it's 50% sort of see-through. If we make it zero, uh, and then click the green flag, we can see that we are seeing 0% of the backdrop. Uh, and if we, likewise, if we change it to 100, we see 100% of our white backdrop, okay? So let's try to find a happy medium, so let's go 50%. So we see some of the backdrop, overlaid with some of the webcam footage. Okay, the webcam feed, I should say. So let's go ahead now and create some sort of interaction. I think the most fun part of video sensing. Uh, so the third and final block that we haven't talked about yet is right down here. And this is a variable. And this variable uh, is going to detect the amount of motion. Uh, and so we, we have a scale between zero, which is like no motion, and 100, which is like going crazy. Uh, and we can measure that on a sprite. Okay, so how much motion is happening underneath the sprite uh, here. So video motion on this sprite. We could also detect it based on how much is how much motion is happening on the entire stage, right? So we could just change that drop down to say that. So let's stick with the video motion on this sprite. Uh, and so I mentioned it's on a 0 to 100 scale. So let's see what that scale looks like. So if we go down here next to the block, we can click this little box here, which is going to turn on a reporter, which is going to give us the amount of motion that's happening here. So we can see right now, if nothing's happening, it, it fluctuates between zero and one. But if I were to go like this, we see, <laughs> we see these values approaching 20, 30, 100. Okay, and so you can do that with a lot of other variables too, with these, by like clicking this checkbox, yeah? All right, so let's go ahead and make a little mini script, uh, a little mini project to show how you might use uh, this, the, this new uh, block that we have. So let's make it when I go like this, we have the cat meow. So what we'll do is we'll take our nice little simple script here and let's go ahead and say forever. Let's ask a question. So forever be asking an if then question. And let's drag out an operator and let's say um, if uh, something is greater, so if video motion here is greater than 20, again, remember we're measuring it from 0 to 100, so 20 is going to be kind of moving uh, like this over the cat. If that happens, let's have the cat meow. So I'll go ahead and drag out the block um, play sound meow until done. And so again, the script will say if video motion, which we're calculating here, exceeds, is greater than 20, how about you go ahead and play the sound meow? So let's go ahead and try this. Okay, very nice. So it is working. We are, seeing, we are hearing the cat meow. So that is a very simple script um, how you might use the uh, video sensing blocks to create uh, some small interactions in your Scratch project. So I hope that was helpful and I look forward to seeing what it is you create with video sensing blocks.